Hello and welcome to our Toronto. The city is getting set to turn the spotlight on TIFF 2018. The Toronto International Film Festival kicks off this week. It will also mark a major debut for Toronto actor Ryan Ali. He's appearing in The Hummingbird Project starring Salma Hayek, Alexander Skarsgård and Jesse Eisenberg. The film is the biggest production yet for Ryan Ali, but his path to acting was anything but direct. Yes, sir. My friends just had a little too much to drink. It's a bit early, isn't it? Well, that's what I told them. Just a few years ago, Ryan Ali could only dream of being cast in a television series. But there he is, appearing on Bravo's 192, a long way from where his life started. Born in Syria, his family moved to Montreal when he was just three. So where did that come from, this passion for acting? I think it started when I was very young. I think that the first time I remember actually thinking, you know, I want to be an actor was, uh, I can't remember how old I was, but I remember what it was. I, I had read the Harry Potter books. I watched the film and I saw how realistic it looked and, and how incredible and how believable everything was. I was a 12-year-old boy and we were watching Spy Kids. So again, kids on TV, kids on film. And I told my mom, I think that was the first time I told her, I told her I want to be an actor. I want to be like those kids on the television. Uh, but interestingly, I told her that I couldn't because I was Arab. So I thought the fact that I was Middle Eastern or that I was Arab somehow meant that I couldn't become an actor. And my mom was really shocked at that point. She was like, you can do anything you put your mind to. She was very encouraging. Um, and she pointed out an actress in the movie, and the actress was Salma Hayek. And she said, look at her, she's, she's of Lebanese background, and she's like in so many films. That's not going to prevent you in your career. But growing up, Ali put his acting dreams on the back burner. He spent his childhood traveling back and forth between Syria and Montreal. Then he decided to pursue a career that couldn't be further from acting. I went into engineering, uh, I was kind of following my, my dad's, uh, you know, my dad's path. He's, he's a civil engineer. Uh, he's very well known in Syria. He's very reputable. He does amazing work. And I got to, you know, go with him on all, you know, like construction grounds and everything like that and kind of like see what he does. And like, you know, he had, people gave him such respect in a way. They looked up to him and I kind of like liked that aspect of it. And I was good at math and physics. So <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought let's go and, and you know, let's go into civil engineering. He also signed up for acting classes and joined ACTRA, Canada's Actors Union. But just before his final exams in engineering, he was forced to make a life-changing decision. And I was offered this opportunity to actually do a union role. It came out of nowhere the day before, and I had to make that decision of, do I do I do that, you know, do I go to my final exam or do I do I get my acting credit? And I asked my mother, my mother obviously was like, go to your exam. <laughs> like, there's no question. You shouldn't be hesitating. Um, but you were. I was big time. I was big time, yeah, because it felt like a huge decision. It felt like, how serious do I want to, do I want to take this? Like, do I want to do that and eventually I, I you know I knew I was I was like there's no question it's an opportunity that doesn't come as often I can do my exam later and this you know changed the course of my career it was I was getting auditions I was seeing and meeting casting directors I was introducing myself as an actor member so I was a union talent so it's different and so no, and no, no regrets, regrets. <laughs> skipping that exam I wouldn't be here today <laughs> This is a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, you labeled it wrong. My mom's name is Grace. That decision helped land Ali roles in various productions and an audition for a major film, The Hummingbird Project, a thriller about high-stakes trading. His character is a Middle Eastern math and physics genius. Ali did the audition but didn't hear anything for a while. I was in Montreal like a month and a half later. I had heard nothing from, from the film at all. I, a month and a half later, I was in Montreal. I was doing a fitting for another project. And uh, as I'm going in the fitting, I see the name, The Hummingbird Project. They were also doing fittings for that movie at the same location. And I was like, that would have been a great opportunity. That would have been so cool to be on that film. I'm like, we'll get another chance. You know, we'll do it again. Um, and as I'm leaving the fitting, I look at my phone and I had a missed call from my agent. 
And so I call her back and she says that I booked it. I booked the Hummingbird Project. And I just was blown away. I was, I had tears of joy. <laughs> I was jumping. He found himself sharing scenes with stars Alexander Skarsgård and Salma Hayek. And not only was she in the film, but she was playing my boss. And we're in that scene together. And it kind of felt, that's when it felt full circle. It felt like Salma Hayek was the first actress that I knew was from Arab background and was in film. And she kind of like was the changing point of like when I thought, you know, I can actually become an actor. And now, you know, look at me now, like 10 years later, I'm going to be on set with her. And it was just, it was incredible. It was a great feeling. When he finally did get to work with Hayek, he chose not to mention she was his acting inspiration. I had a lot of opportunities too, but I just felt like I wanted to be as professional as possible. You know what I mean? I wanted to be on set. I wanted to be known for being, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm a co-worker at that point, you know, like I'm a, a huge fan of her, but on set we're working together. But his parents aren't shy about singing his praises after being concerned about him dropping out of engineering. Now when they when they talk to people and people ask, like, I heard your son dropped out of, of the, the, his school program and all that, he's like, they're like, yeah, yeah, he's, he's doing film, he's doing great, he's filming with Selma Hayek. And, like, they're so proud, they're, like, bragging about it now. <laughs> about kids, right? No rush. Right. Je suis français. Je, uh, I pas de problème. Moi, je parle français. <laughs> now, Ryan Ali isn't just pursuing his passion. He's also looking for opportunities to show the value of representation in film. We should have, you know, more visibility, more characters of, you know, diversity in the media. Just, just as here in Toronto, that's another thing I figured when I moved back here or when I moved to Toronto is how diverse the city is and how important that is for people to see themselves and have someone relate to you in film. Because as a 12-year-old boy, I was like, what is, what is wrong with me? Like, what can I change something about myself to fit into this industry? And then realize that you don't have to change anything about yourself. You can, you know, you can be an example. You can lead the way. You can go out there and do it yourself. And then, and then that will inspire more people to do so. The Hummingbird Project makes its world premiere at TIFF on September 6th.